Douglas was cross. He brought a small, strange purple engine up the valley to the mountain railway. A most unsatisfactory trip. I've never known such bumpy rails. I thought your controller had a handle on such matters. But then I suppose bigger isn't better after all. Welcome home, Shane! To Eni! Okay, have it your way then. Welcome home, Eni! Oh, I tell you, Cody, the standard of conduct has certainly slipped in our absence. I apologize for not returning sooner. I imagine you had quite the time with those ruffians. Oh, really? Patrick was quick to keep up, and the wrecks have been kind and quiet from start. Quiet? Ha! That's not what I observed. The way they were howling yesterday, it's as if they were- Settling into their new home. I agree. A terrible thing to happen. I don't admire your newfound sarcasm, Kuldi. Those youngsters have had more influence than I thought. The next morning, Shane was being readied for the day's work. Nothing like a jaunt up the mountain when the dew's still fresh. Eh, Shane? Dweeny. Shane Dweeny. That's my full name, youngin, and I expect you to remember it. Sir, yes, sir, Sergeant Dooley. But that goes for you, too. My name please says Eric, not Youngling. Then I suggest, Eric, that you clean yourself up. For there are certain ways we conduct ourselves on mountain railways. Engines will get too bubbly or cocky don't last. Lucky for you, driver gave me a wash just last night. So I'm very clean indeed. <laughs> Silly old doohickey. I learned plenty from the others. Besides, manager trusts me enough to take the first train of the day. <sighs> the skies were blue as Eric began his ascent. Once he passed Devil's Back, light mist rolled in. By the time they reached the top, he could see nothing beyond the Summit Station building. What a shame. The day was looking so lovely. We've nothing to take pictures of now. Seems it's just us. I phoned back down the line, they've still got clear skies. I know. I'll take you back down to one of my favorite sites. So, after a small tea break, the passengers piled into the coach, and Eric hurried back down the line. Here we are! You'll get super pictures of the viaduct! The passengers were impressed with the views. You're cutting it close, mate. Shane Duini's due up in a while. You might not make it down to the next passing loop. Feel of, mm, short of steam. Could we rest just a bit longer? Old Dewey can use the passing loop here to get around me. Seeing no issue with this, the station master went to set the points to the loop.
certainly have changed in my absence. I wasn't aware we could loiter on the line at our leisure. I'm not loitering. I'm putting my passengers first. By putting my passengers second? Have you been away so long you forgot what signals mean? The points are set for you to go around me on the loop. Wrong. You should be in the loop, young hooligan. That siding is not to be taken at speed. And I'm meant to have a clear run up. Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you your journey has come to an end. Please return to your coach at once. Disappointed and annoyed, the passengers begrudgingly walked to the platform. And you, get into that loop site at once. You go into the loop and stop bossing me about! You're not the manager! Maybe not, but I'm wise enough to know that the manager wouldn't approve of your silly actions. He won't approve of either side of this argument when he hears about it. And he will, if you two don't sort yourselves out. Both engines finished their journeys very late, which ensured the manager learned of their feud. I am most disappointed in you both. Eric, I appreciate your concern for our passengers' enjoyment, but you may not modify the timetable and block the line as you see fit. I find your new attitude most unbecoming, Shane. Experienced as you are, you have no right to give commands to other engines, and certainly not to our passengers. I expect the two of you shall mend your ways and put this silly quarrel to rest. Otherwise, you'll stay in the shed until it's resolved. Uh, ahem. Uh, I, um, I truly must apologize, youngling. I haven't given you the warmest of welcomes. Passengers keep our railway running, and to put their needs first was... Most exemplary of you. Shouldn't have been at the expense of blocking your path. I'm sorry I was cheeky. It's thanks to you I even have a railway to call home. There is one more thing we need to clear the air about. What's that? Can't help but notice. You didn't correct manager about your name. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time since he'd returned, oh, Shane Dweeney cracked a little smile. He was thankful none of the other engines were awake to see it.